Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to continue with our series on our Christmas blanks. Everybody's getting geared up for the Christmas rush so we thought we'll do a couple of quick videos just to show you how we get the best out of the products, save you any hassle down the line. And in this one we are going to go for the burlap version of our Christmas stocking. So you'll see in a previous video we did the linen version. These work in the same way, the artwork's all the same size but there is a slight difference in the pressing times and temps, so we will cover that when we get to the press. Um, I've already sourced, uh, sourced my artwork, I definitely sourced it, but I've also sized up my artwork so it's ready to go. So rather than go through all of that, if you want to see how that's done, you can have a look back in, the, uh, in a couple of our previous videos where you'll see me go through the process of scaling stuff up in Photoshop. But for the purposes of today, and to keep it nice, short and sweet, we are going to run straight to the printing. So I'm going to send this to print, and I will join you over by the press. Right, while that's printing, we're going to get the press set up so it's up to temp when we come to get the blank in. We're going to look at a slightly different setting than we used for the linen sacks. So we're going to go to 120 seconds and we're going to run it at 180 degrees C. Yep, so now that that's set, we'll just have to wait for it to print and we are good to go. Okay, brilliant. So we've got the blank on the bench and we've got our print. As you can see, I've cut it out of the bigger sheet that it was printed on. Uh, we printed that on the uh, F500 in this video, so it came out on quite a large sheet. So I've just cut it roughly out. You don't have to be particularly tidy with the cutting when, you just chill, uh, when you're trimming them, sorry, use my English, off a larger sheet. So to line that up, I'm just going to aim to get the text at the top in line with the sort of stitching as best I can. And then we're just going to hold that in place a little bit of heat here, like so. But again, you want to make sure that you haven't got too much tape on there because you do want to get that print off quite quickly once it's been in the press so you don't get any ghosting. There we go. So we'll get that into the press and we'll see what we end up with. Right guys, so the press is up to temperature. I'm just going to pull out the sliding drawer. If you haven't got a sliding drawer on your press, obviously just use it as you normally would, but I would definitely recommend these. They make it a lot less likely that you're going to burn yourself and it gives you a much easier working environment. So, like we do with the Santa sacks, we just pop, you want to pop this on the press, but you want to make sure that the ropes at the top of the stocking are outside of the press, because these can actually uh, change colour in the heat, so you don't really want that. You can get press marks on the ropes and things. So we want to avoid that. I'm just going to pop that in there like that. Get a bit of baking parchment, which I have prepared earlier. Lay that over the top, that's going to protect your blank um, from any ink that's on your platen, but it's also going to protect your platen from any ink coming back off your blank. And then we're just going to close that down, wait 120 seconds, and then we'll see what the results are like. Alright, so we're getting there to the end of the timer now, we just let the press be, and then we will get it open. And there we go. Just want to lift the platen up, nice and easy, don't want to bounce that print. Take away the baking paper, and then as quick as we can, get that print off there. If it touches back down, that's when you start getting ghosting and weird effects on your print. That looks like it's printed absolutely brilliant. We'll get it over to the bench and we can have a closer look at it. And there it is guys, there's the Christmas stocking. So these are really popular this time of year. So like again, I've said on the other burlap products, we've stuck with the bolder colours there rather than pastel colours. They just uh, show up better on this slightly darker fabric. But like you see, they're really straightforward to do. Um, really good product for, for Christmas. So but yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, get them in the comments below. Um, let us know uh, any products you would like to see us do and we will add them to the list of stuff that we're doing. And stick with the channel or have a look back through the back catalogue because there are loads of great tips on there on how to get the best out of the sublimation products you're producing. Thanks a lot, guys.